Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. This will be a first impressions and sort of an unboxing, although I will admit I've already opened the knife and taken a look at it. Uh, I just couldn't resist. Uh, this, of course, is the Alpha Smilodon from PMP. You can see the PMP Knives logo right here. It does come with this rather impressive case and a number of PMP Knives that we've had have come in a case like this. It is a very attractive touch. There's the knife itself. As you can see, I've already cut this bag open. Move that out of the way. It does come with a little challenge coin there, and the coin is have has the scratch marks on it, indicating the connection to you know the saber tooth cat, which is the the smile smile it on uh, name there. Get this box out of the way. And let's take a close look at this knife. So there we go. <laughs> Big, bulky knife. However, all right, slim down enough that it's a little more carryable. It's a little more usable than some of the crazy, gigantic things that PMP has done. Okay. Um, some of you will recall I've reviewed the the Beast and the Beast 2, I think, on the channel and a few others. I, I tend to be a fan of PMP knives. They seem to be doing a decent job. And when I saw this knife, I, I was pretty compelled by it. So I'm fortunate to be able to get my hands on one. Try to show you. It's just, it's not really, really overt, but you can see that this is a flame anode version. You could have, I suppose, also Notice that from the box. Here's a close look at the blade. Look at that heavy stonewash finish. It is a flat grind, which is a change from the uh, first impressions that Jim Skelton did a while back, uh, in which it was a hollow grind. As you guys know, I like hollow grinds better, but uh, this, this flat grind is pretty slim and nice and fine behind the edge, which is a nice touch. Titanium backspacer here, glass breaker, ceramic glass breaker incorporated. Nicely done clip, ceramic ball there on the clip. Um, I haven't put this in and out of my pocket any times because, as you know, I'm, this is a first impression. I do love this big oversized pivot that also serves as an over-travel stop. Really nice touch. I actually feel like it could have been carried over to the show side. You know, one of those things we normally do with a decorative pivot is... is um, have it on the on the side of the knife that's supposed to be the the fancier side this may be one of those knives and i've had a few of them in my collection and i'm sure you guys have seen some as well where the lock side is actually more attractive than the show side all right uh sorry about that guys my dog is freaking out here Hopefully, whoever uh, he'll he'll bark at anyone that goes in any a drive any driveway, either my own or <laughs> either neighbor on either side. So you know he kind of feels the need to guard the whole neighborhood. Um, anyway, back to the knife in question here. I don't have a whole lot by way of, you know, criticism that stands out to me. Very nice and hand filling. I like this sort of frag pattern on the, on the handle. Very grippy. Tons and tons of space. Let me give you a rundown on size and weight. And there is one little complaint that I have. I may devote a whole video to this because it's kind of become a little pet peeve of mine. Uh, in recent years. And you'll probably, you know, some of you will have heard me say it a number of times before. All right, this is a fairly large knife. Now we're finally getting into uh, size and weight on this. This is pretty big, guys. Nine and five eighths overall. The blade length is only three and three quarter inches, which seems a little out of balance, right? There's a lot of extra handle kind of sticking out here that um, doesn't seem totally necessary. All right, and so the balance is, is just a little strange on this, although it, it feels good in hand. And overall, as I look at it like this, right, where you're just looking at the top-down footprint, it looks, it still looks attractive. All right, five and seven, eight closed. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> That's why it seems a little out of balance. This is almost six inches closed, uh, which is really, really massive for a knife that only has a three and three quarter inch blade. Okay, uh, three and seven eighths inches of grip area, which of course is tons. 
Uh, but again, when your handle is almost six inches long, even to have less than four inches of grip area, again, seems a little bit weird. So those are a couple of things that stand out to me right off the bat. Um, in terms of fit and finish, in terms of quality, in terms of finishes, um, everything is really nicely done. It's, it's everything that you would expect from a high end knife. In fact, it's everything you'd expect from a knife that costs quite a bit more than this. Although it doesn't cost a crazy, crazy amount of money. Now, the one thing that I am going to take issue with, and I've said this on other knives as well. I think I've even said it on a couple of PMP knives is that if you're going to go with this big overbuilt crazy type of approach and this is not as crazy as some of the knives granted but you really need to back up your design with features that are equally heavy duty and hard use and so at the very least this should have been a dual row ceramic bearing pivot or roller bearings or something along those lines they should have beefed up the pivot you know instead uh, the, the the pivot construction on this knife is essentially exactly the same as it is on, you know, this knife or this knife, which both of which I would consider sort of lightweight, you know, easy use EDC style knives, right? And, and to me, that's not ideal, okay? I would have liked to see a different approach, something a little more substantial. Okay, so that's my my primary complaint. Do I still love the knife? Yeah, absolutely I do. Do I anticipate, you know, it breaking in half or falling apart because they didn't go with dual row ceramic bearings or roller bearings? No, not at all, okay? Um, and, and so, you know, I, I'm trying to be uh, as fair as possible. But to give you one example, when you want to make a, a really hard use knife, here's a perfect example you kind of, you go with either washers, you, you go with a pivot that is equal to the task that you're designing the knife around, okay? So, uh, those are my initial impressions on the PMP Alpha Smilodon, Smilodon, whatever, however I'm supposed to pronounce it. Uh, pretty cool knife, one I'm pretty excited to have in the collection and certainly happy to be able to share with you. These did sell out pretty quickly. I don't think that there are any left. There might be some plain, some some all black uh, ones left uh, at White Mountain Knives. You can go over there. If they happen to have some, use my discount code Sharp Stuff. It'll save you 10% off. Uh, I'll also check uh, down in the description box for other, there may be a an affiliate link as well for House of Knives. That is something I'm working on. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this knife down in the comments below, and we will talk to you soon.